Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Welcome to our free mini course on making Divi responsive. Most of you probably know that it's very important to have a responsive website. But how do you go about that? Is it worth it? How much time will it take? And how do I do that in Divi? The answer to those questions and many more can be found here in this free mini course. We'll cover everything you need to know and show you some of the processes that we use to do that. This course is perfect for developers, designers, business owners, DIYers, or anyone who uses Divi to create websites or manage websites. We're gonna start with a bit of an introduction, so let's get started. Responsive design is the approach that suggests that web design and development should respond to the user's behavior and environment based on screen size, platform, or orientation, things like that. A responsive website is one that automatically adjusts the written content, placement, images, sizes, navigation menus, spacing, text, you know, and all of that according to the user's maybe their screen type or their device type or even their orientation of their device. So in today's world, we all seem to have multiple devices and they all have different screen sizes. As web designers, it's very important to design websites so that they are equally useful for any screen size. It can be easy to forget other devices if we're working on a certain size and we're used to that. But even if our design looks amazing on our desktop, for example, you know, this is no longer 2010 and um, it's no longer acceptable to have a mobile site that doesn't look very well. So I'm going to actually grab the URL of this demo site here and go over to a website called Responsinator and just paste it in here and we'll get an idea of what we're talking about. So this is going to give us previews of using this website, the one that I was showing you right here, on different screen sizes. Okay. So if, in general, if one user views your website on a desktop and then they would switch to their laptop and then they would try their tablet or their smartphone, you know, what difference will they see? You know, we need to be asking that question. Most likely you have done this before to some extent and you have an idea of how it works, but I just wanted to show you, you know, this example here of how it can look. Like here it has the phone screen in landscape view. Um, and you can kind of see what's happening. Um, and this is not exactly accurate, but it's a good example of what of an idea of what it will look like. Well, here's more of a tablet and our iPad. Yep. And then another one. So it kind of gives you that idea. You can pay for sites like this that actually give you a preview. Um, don't forget our plugin, the Divi Responsive Helper it has a live preview built right into the Divi Visual Builder. So that's pretty cool. A lot of people like that. Anyway, I'm showing you this to give you just an idea of what we're talking about. We're making sites responsive no matter what size screen you have, that things flow and things work and are easy for the user. So if you're someone, you know, creating or managing websites, it's critical that you take the time to make your website responsive especially as more and more people are using smartphones and tablets um, of pretty much every shape and size now on the web. And so you may be asking, you know, why, why is responsive design so important? Well, it comes down to a couple of things. You know, in today's age, we have you know, there's so many competitors and you, if you don't do it, then you're being left behind. Um, there's some important reasons, you know, mobile users, for example, seems everyone is searching things on their phone. You know, years ago, it's websites were built for desktop only, and they, in a way, we basically ignored mobile users. And sometimes, then we started making mobile sites, and that was before responsive came out, because that was before smartphones were even a thing. But currently, you know, there's there's numbers. I mean, there's numbers all over the place. But an average of like ninety percent of users are accessing websites on their mobile phones. So you know, if you're not making your website responsive, it's kind of obvious that, you, you know, you're missing out on 90% of potential viewers of your site. And you also have to have a seamless experience for users. So no matter how great your website is, if a user is not enjoying the experience using your site, they're going to leave and that's, you know, it's going to increase your bounce rate. If you think you get returning customers or clients, you know, 
that's not going to happen because an unresponsive website is causing the user not to be able to find what they're looking for. And if they can't find what they've come there for, you know, they're never going to come back and you're not going to have a sale or a client. And maybe last but not least type of thing, improved SEO results. So every business wants to appear on the top of, you know, the search results in Google or Bing or these other search engines. So you you want a website that is responsive and, and that may seem kind of strange, but there's actually a connection there. Google, for example, always promotes the websites that deliver relevant value, right? You know, when you search for something, they're giving you relevant results. They strongly recommend having a responsive website, and they're even prioritizing those websites in the search results that are optimized for mobile, and that's a big deal. So you can't really afford to not have a responsive website, and, you know, if you're looking to be found online at all, um, then you're going to want to have a responsive website that ranks well on mobile. And, you know, Google will thank you and your customers will thank you. All right, so now you know a little bit about what it means to make your site responsive and some of the benefits. So now let's go ahead and jump into the fun stuff and get started learning how to do this in Divi.